everyone, Julian here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Ski Mask style, Future Garage, Breakbeat, Routine style. As usual, you can get the full project file samples, MIDI, and the presets. Everything from this video is available at the top of the description on my website. You can also find all the info from my lessons, track finishing, and ghost production down there as well. Let's hop in. Alright, so we're at 123 BPM. The first thing we got here is actually the kick and the bass in this clap. So I wanted to highlight this first because when you hear these drums, obviously you probably hear the break beats first, but really, you know, this stuff. Is really where a lot of the groove is happening. You know, these break beats really just sit on top of this. But if you don't get this right, the other stuff won't really work. So it's really just this groove between the kick and the clap. We just got this 909 kick shortened. I've cut a bit of sub out of it as well. And then the clap, just a nice fat sample. So there's that groove and then the bass adds some 16 notes. You can see it kind of plays off what the kick is doing. And so for the actual notes on this, it's following with the pads, right? And it's also kind of giving you like a chord progression. For the actual sound on the bass, we're using operator. It's actually just a triangle wave with a low pass on it. And then we're cutting a little sub out of that as well because it's pretty loud. So if you want it to not get too crunchy, you got to cut the sub. So then we move forward with kind of like the main break beats. So what's happening here is we got two layered together. I kind of chopped them so they're doing the same thing. You see, they kind of complement each other, so there's no processing on them individually, just a bit of a high pass on the group. And then we have this low pass filter, so this is something I noticed is like having this just slowly go down with the LFO. It adds a bunch of like subtle movement to the track and kind of brings these to life. So we've got those, and then we've also got these ones. So we have kind of like our main steady ones and then if you hear those over it. So these are both just these individual breaks and then you can see there's a bit more processing on these. So it's like that and then we have a low pass where I'm automating for the filter to open and close and then a bit of delay. So it kind of makes this cool transition with the breaks again just like really okay on this first one you can see it's the same thing. This one's got a little dynamic tube at the end as well. Kind of making it a bit more crunchy and analog sounding. I know he uses a lot of analog stuff for those tracks. You can hear, again, it's just taking those drum breaks and bringing them to life with some new techniques. You know, stuff they didn't just do in the 90s. And then we had this last layer of break stuff. So with no processing, this sounds like... It's literally just this little fill, you know, it's like at the end of these, you kind of get it like. Right, so it's like using these samples to create a bit of movement in the breaks. So we got a low pass filter with an LFO on it at eighth notes, so you're getting that like. Doom, doom. Right, we got a high pass. Delay and then a bit of dynamic tube on this as well. Dynamic tube is really good for these breaks to kind of give them that analog feel because it doesn't get as nasty as like saturator. You know, it's very analog and warm sounding. And then that's just the last layer on top of the breaks, just kind of adding a bit more space to it. Then we have the pads. <laughs> So what's happening is it's three pads. We have this main one. Then we have this thing. Kind of fading in in the middle and then we have some strings. And so these pads can sound pretty complicated when you actually hear them. But when you break it down like this, it's just having these different layers. And you can see like, you know, these two play different chords here. But 
they create like a new chord. So for this first one, what's happening in the MIDI is it's... These like jazzy major 7th and 9th chords. Right, and then just goes down a 4th and adds a few notes up, or a 5th and goes down a... F Then we got, so for the actual patch, it's made with analog, we've got two saw waves, a low pass with a bit of key tracking, a tiny bit goes a long way with this, and then we have a low pass, and the movement on the low pass is really like building the tension in the track. You see it mellows down when that closes and then when it opens up. It feels like the whole thing is exploding. And then we got the amp like that, a bit of unison, and then really just some reverb. You don't need too much processing with these pads if you just get a fat sound in the synth. And that's really going to sound best in the long run. This chord. So it's kind of playing this like... You can look at it two ways. You look at it as this A sharp minor. Where it's like playing the ninth. Or F, the fourth, and the fifth. Right, so we got that, and then it's this wavetable patch where it's a saw wave with a bunch of unison, and we have an, the amp envelope with a bit of attack, plus we've got a low pass just opening. And that works together with the other chords as well, and then that's just going through a little reverb. And then for the strings... So this is just playing C and F, just, we're in the key of F here, so it's playing like the root note and the fifth, right? And that just gives us like a nice steady pad, and that's another really important thing, even though it seems really simple, when you have these other pads changing chords like this. Having that one steady chord that's really simple, that works with every chord that the other one plays, is really going to hold it down. So we've got this, it's just a string ensemble. We have a low pass with a little LFO on it, so it's just moving, kind of like freeform. And then a bit of reverb, and that's it for that last pass. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe, and let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can get this full project file, samples, MIDI, presets, the entire template for this ski mask routine style stuff. It's available at the top of the description on my website. Definitely don't miss out, guys. This is the best template I've ever heard on the market for this style, and it'll take your tracks to the next level today and help you get where you're trying to get. Every little bit of support counts. Thank you so much, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.